Most people in America are familiar with the term rape. They acknowledge that rape is when someone forces another individual to have sexual something with them without that person's permission, consent, or interest. The truth is many Christians are forcing people to have sex without permission. They're also forcing people to do things to other people's bodies without that person's consent. It is a form of information abuse. It is a form of record abuse. It is a form of sexual abuse. It is a form of physical assault. The bottom line is that a man's secondary sex characteristics are something that is rarely seen unless he takes off his shirt. We have many men in America who are overweight and chiding. We have many men in America who are underweight and not thriving. And we have many men across America that are being abused by women because they think they have rights to them. The one thing I see the most in an impoverished community is how a woman who is not that smart, not that educated, and not that reliable have too much interest in someone like me. And the reality is that someone like me has a mind, has a heart, has a soul, and is really trying to work on productivity. But when I sit down to work, there's always someone who wants to play in, always who wants to stay in, always who wants to abuse and lie about their rights to me. In this town of Champaign, Illinois, I have not found true diversity. What I have found is a lying sheriff force, I have found a lying police force, I have found a lying Christian community, and I have found that they rarely take care of you or me. You see, the most generous people across the timeline of my being homeless and traveling for my business has been professional black people. Those people have usually come out through struggle and hardship of their mothers, the aspect of poverty. They feel fortunate to what they have. They know that how quickly they could slip back through the cracks and they openly stop that whole thing for me and you. The reality is that most men in struggle, most men in homelessness, most men in general need employment and the ability to give and render services. But the truth is in America that people don't think about the S's involved with homelessness and that is on you, not me. The first S is sustenance because we all have to eat. The second set, set is shelter because we all need some place to meet. And the third is in the area of service because we all have to have the opportunity to greet the world head on. Please understand that when I'm rhyming and when I'm taking up timing and when I'm doing this in a way, I need to let you know that I am not pleased with American citizens and openly neither is the government and it and its military are on the way. 